if you need a PDF file of term number one, please do let me know. Now the next, what else we do today? Today's topic, we'll try to cover chemistry and society. It's, uh, it's in your book, the topic number 1.3. I have skipped first two topics. First we'll do this one, then we do the next one. All right. Now, very brief revision. What have we done up till now? We have done uh, the few definitions like what is chemistry, what is matter, what are the various states of matter, chemistry means, the study of matter, matter means, uh, you know, uh, anything which has mass and occupies the space is called matter, right? Then the definition of mass and volume, volume is the space occupied by a body. It's just a revision, that's why I'm so very quick, so quick. Each and everything is made up of what? Atoms. So atom is the building block of each and everything. Me, you, sun, planets, stars, everything. Then what are the uh, fundamental particles of an atom? Electron, proton, neutron, these are the three fundamental particles of an atom. Right? We have studied their properties, electrons are negative charge, uh, uh, orbit around the nucleus of an atom, and so on. Then elements, compound mixture, element, something which is very pure, contains only one kind of atom. For example, gold is an element, oxygen is an element, silver is an element. All of these are elements. Okay, these topics will uh, would be again covered lightly in chapter number two. So there is no need to worry about. Actually, these things, uh, students, nowadays uh, they are supposed to be done. They have supposed to be done in grade six, seven, and eight. What is the importance of chemistry? Why should we study chemistry? What is its role in our life, directly or indirectly? What is the reason? Why should we study such? People, as people say, I don't think so. Uh, very dry subject. No, I don't think so. It's very dry. It's very interesting subject. If you uh, study it properly, gradually, slowly, then it's very interesting. Okay? What is the reason? Because the reason is this. There are three main reasons. First thing, First is that chemistry, it has practical applications in the society. It means whatever you're studying chemistry, you will see its application here and there everywhere. Application means uh, the knowledge of chemistry is being applied uh, in our daily life, directly or indirectly, as you can see in, on the screen, the uh, life, Saving drugs. Life saving drugs. What are these? There are certain drugs which are internationally considered as life saving, uh, like smallpox vaccine, which was discovered by Alexander Fleming, right? Then morphine, aspirin, painkiller, you know, all of you know. Before aspirin, acetyl, its actual name is acetyl salicylic acid. Before aspirin, there wasn't as such uh, pain reliever. Then insulin, insulin, as you know, it, it is used by the diabetic patient, right? Just to control their sugar. Then polio vaccine, then tranquilizers, different kinds of tranquilizers. These are all are considered as life-saving drugs internationally. Tranquilizer means, uh, suppose a person is in depression or anxiety, then tranquilizers uh, are given, right? Then uh, chemotherapy dr drugs for the treatment of CA, CA stands for cancer, then HIV. So all of these are life-saving drugs. And from where we got these life-saving drugs? Just with the help of chemistry. Chemistry helped us, the scientists, the chemists, to discover, to invent 
the vaccines, the medicines of different uh, diseases, right? So this is one of the important practical application of the knowledge of chemistry on our lives, life-saving drugs. What else is? What else is? All modern technologies, the mobile in your hand, this camera that I am uh, standing in front of you, right? Cam uh, mic, anything, laptop, computer, mobile phones, machines, all kind of machines. Either it is a juicer or an aeroplane, right? All our machines, rocket. How many of you know what is the space X? I will not tell you. Just ask me, space X, a very hot topic internationally uh, during the last two or three or four, four days. Anyway, so recycling processes, these are all the applications of, of chemistry. Means whatever you study in chemistry, it, is, it will not go in vain. It will not waste. You, will, you can apply to, for the betterment of human, for the life of human beings, right? So all modern technologies directly or indirectly depends on the study of chemistry. How? Because chemistry tells you the properties of different kinds of substances. Whenever you want to make something, whenever you want to make something, either it is a food item in the kitchen, like anything in the kitchen, or cement, or toothpaste, or shoe polish, or any, anything that you want to prepare, you need some information. You need some information that information is being provided only uh, through chemistry. I repeat, whenever you want to make something, you need some information, that information is provided by chemistry. Okay? So what is the second one? Chemistry tells us what? The natural processes which are going on all around us. For example, the process of evaporation, water cycle, right? Natural, all natural processes like this, like photosynthesis, uh, photosynthesis also natural process, respiration, and all volcanic er eruptions, earthquakes, all of these are natural processes. So chemistry help us to find out the reason of these natural processes. What is the reason behind this, okay? And then another another reason to study chemistry that there isn't any other science there isn't any other science which does not depend on chemistry means all sciences indirectly or directly depends on chemistry whether it is physics or mass to an extent an engineer is there he want to make a machine he will need some material the properties of that material that what is their strength what is its melting point its properties characteristics he need who will provide only a chemist will provide all of these information then only he will be able to understand to create his invention doctors totally you know for all pharmaceutical companies doctors totally believe on medicines whether it is uh, uh, or allopathic doctor means common doctor or 
ayurvedic doctor or hakeem all depends on medicines and what are medicines chemical compounds so either it is uh, an engineer or a doctor or a uh, bank owner bank owner how he will need to uh, judge the fake note currency note and he will need some information that information is provided by machine who will provide that machine with the help of chemistry currency note different color different types of ink right so that ink is being provided by a chemist so hardly there isn't any field in chemist uh, in our daily life which is which uh, do not depend which doesn't depend on chemistry we ourselves are walking laboratories we ourselves our body is a walking is a mobile chemistry lab there are different compounds in chemistry which are very important chlorine plays a very vital role in our daily life for example there are number of chlorine compounds the first one like is chloroform chloroform what is the formula of chloroform ch cl3 this is chloroform what is the purpose of chloroform it gives to the patient for uh, for unconsciousness so chlor this chloroform is a compound of chlorine means a chemistry product what else chlorine is used in swimming pools why just to kill the germs chlorine is used in pvc polyvinyl chloride what is pvc the used drainage pipes and other such product it is also used to make ddt might be you have heard ddt i am not going to annoy you ddt stands for dichloro diphenyl Trichloro diphenyl. Trichloroethane. This is a formula of DDT. And what is the purpose of DDT? Most common disinfectant. And chlorine is also used in making number of pesticides. What do you mean by pesticides? Number of insects are there which can uh, destroy. the crops right so pesticides are used to kill weeds to kill uh, uh, different kinds of insects etc etc so chlorine has more than 1000 compounds as you can see pvc chloroform bleaching agent what is the purpose of bleaching agent i think most of you you know that chlorine is a compound which is used to bleach to decolorize a material and what else is ddt i told you what is ddt chloroform different kinds of drugs pesticide what are the different kinds of pesticide uh, if you are going to take care of a herb it is called herbicide insecticide etc and beside this chlorine is also used in uh, in various refrigerants what are refrigerants what are refrigerants refrigerants are the chemicals which are used to cool down uh, this ac is giving out cool air why 
because it has a refrigerant gas in it. Okay, so what are the common uh, refrigerant gases? You must have heard chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, CFCs, chlorofluorocarbons, then hydro chlorofluorocarbons, then only HFCs, hydrofluorocarbons, but the most common is this one, chlorofluorocarbon. Why are we not using from this year, 2020 internationally, this gas, chlorofluorocarbon? Do you have any idea why this gas is not allowed to be filled in all such things like AC, like uh, refrigerator, etc. Why? Yes, this gas destroy, destroys what? Ozone layer. Okay. So years back, decades back, scientists came to know that the uh, layer of ozone is decreasing day by day. They found out the reason that chlorofluorocarbons or CFC compounds, these, uh, these compounds these, uh, are the main reason for destroying ozone layer. So their, its use is banned. Now, which gas is used? different kinds of gases, like I guess you can see on the screen, like in AC or in car AC or in other R134A. These are different kinds of refrigerant gases. And what is R134A? It is tetrafluoroethane. Tetrafluoroethane. R134A. Okay? And this gas is, is an inert gas for ozone, especially. So, so these are. This is only one element, chlorine. We are discussing the benefits of only one element of chlorine. Chlorine has so many compounds uh, which are extensively used in our daily life, as we can see on the screen. All explosive, atomic, either it is atomic bomb or a firecracker. These are the products of chemistry. Cosmetics, it is either it is lipstick or blush on or blush off, product of chemistry. Or cement or glass or this and that, uh, yeah. Even the internet must have heard fiber, strong fiber, a company. Fiber link, fiber. Internet travels through thin fiber glass tubes made up of chemistry with the help of chemistry. So there are no field in our daily life where chemistry is not playing its role. Okay? I've got uh, now let's talk about assignment. I gave you an assignment in lecture number two, and uh, I've got a few assignments from the students on my Gmail address. Hope the remaining students will also do the same. Okay, let's refresh ourselves. What is the full name of DDT? Recall, it's very difficult, I know. Next, tell any two life saving drugs. I told you so many drugs. Okay, question number three. What is the chemical formula of chloroform? What is the chemical formula of chloroform? Remember, there's no need to learn all of these. It's just a support knowledge. So what is next? Which one is the destroying ozone layer? Freon, Freon is a chlorofluorocarbon or R134A. Obviously the answer is Freon. Who discovered the vaccine for the smallpox? Again the question is, what is SpaceX? 
is not uh, included in chemistry book is not the part of the syllabus either what is spacex as told you earlier i will not tell you you should tell me next time or uh, let me know okay studying living organism chemically is called this either i didn't tell you which element is present in all the cell phones which noble element gold is present in all cell phones so another slide you can see one ton of smartphones contains about 300 grams of gold worthing around 12000 dollars so next time when you change the mobile phone think and find where the gold is okay so around 7% of the gold which is uh, which is in use throughout the world is in our electronics assignment reminding you pdf file is available if you want if you want it just let me know okay that's all for today thank you very much